Hello everyone, my name is Norman Raglan, Senior Product Manager for Observant Technologies. Today we'll be going over the Alibi DVR and MVR user interface. Alibi DVR and MVR are available in standard def, HD, as well as IP video. Here we're going to look over the quick menu bar. You have some features like uh, start and stop recording. You have an instant playback that will allow you to do up to five minutes of video while the unit is still recording. You have the option of doing a PTZ control. You can do pan, tilt, and zoom, as well as set your certain presets, patrols, or patterns. You also have an option to do a digital zoom on this unit. You can pretty much point in the box to digital zoom in anywhere, or you could just drag and drop the area that you'd like to specify. Next we'll cover the quick menu bar. If you right click anywhere on the screen, you can pop this bar up. You have the option of changing your camera view as well as your multi-screen view. You can toggle between the previous channel or the next channel or screen. You can start your auto switching sequence, start and stop recording. You can also adjust your picture quality on your live display. And you also have the option of doing a playback uh, straight from this screen. Once you select playback, you have the option of picking which cameras you'd like to view. Uh, you could pick one or choose all. Select your timeline to the bar at the bottom. You also have the option of searching between normal event tag or even external file. If you right click again and get into the main menu, uh, we'll cover the other menu options. Let's go right into playback. Under playback again, you could pick individual cameras or select which ones you like. Select the calendar time bar. Your recorded video will uh, have a color indication to let you know there is video there. Uh, again, as mentioned earlier, you're able to search between event tag, external file as well. You can go full screen if you like and toggle between the screens just by double clicking. Right click to escape. You have the option of muting, start clip, add a default tag, customize a tag, tag management, or zoom in. You have your other playback functions here. Under export, this is where you would offload your video. You can do a quick search to view your video. You have the options of playing back as well as locking those videos uh, if you decide you wanted to keep it for later on. The event, event section is exactly the same as the normal. Under manual settings, this will allow you to turn on or off which cameras you'd like to record. Uh, this is for your regular as well as your motion recording. Hard drive management will give you information on your hard drive, allow you to format, uh, as well as turn your override on or off. Next we'll go over the record settings. Under record settings you could set up each camera individually. Uh, you can set this up to do a normal or motion recording. Uh, it's all color coded so you can actually set up Monday through Friday um, with motion or not motion, uh, pretty much just a drag and drop, very easy to use. Next we'll go over camera settings. Under camera settings you have the option of moving around your time and date bar as well as your camera title. You can actually remove these as well if you do not want them on the video. Uh, you can also change the camera name as well. Under PTZ settings, this is where you'd go to set up your PTZ camera. You could control your cameras from here, as well as set up your presets, your patrols, your patterns. Uh, can all be done through the actual DVR itself. Under motion detection, you have an option of setting up a grid to trigger for motion. You have action items where you can actually send an email, full screen, or audible warning. Privacy masking will allow you to mask off certain areas. Uh, this is how it would show up on the recording, so there's no way of removing it later. Video tampering can also give you an alert via email uh, or audible alarm to let you know that someone is uh, tampering with the video or there's some type of video loss uh, that happened as well. Next we'll go into configuration. Under configuration, you would actually go here to set up your time and date, your daylight savings, your network settings as well which you'd like to see on your live view, your exceptions, and your user management. This is where you would add users um, under that particular field. Under system maintenance, you have system information that will give you basic information on your DVR, 
Log information will give you detailed information on what was done on this unit, uh, from offloading to start and stop recording, as well as network access. You can play back the video or export it. Import export settings will allow you to offload or upload uh, particular settings to and from the DVR. Upgrade is for your firmware. Default will allow you to reset the DVR back to factory. NetDetect will give you more information about your current network status. Now this completes our quick overview of the Alibi NVR DVR user interface. Please keep a lookout for our future videos that will go a little bit more into detail over specific areas.